Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson in mathematics. For today, we are going into the world of trigonometry by talking about our lesson, Trigonometric Ratios. So first, let's recall what the Pythagorean Theorem is. So the Pythagorean Theorem is denoted by the formula a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where c is the hypotenuse of the triangle. So if you can remember, the word hypotenuse tells us that it is the longest side of the triangle. So the longest side of the triangle is always the one opposite to our 90 degree angle. So take note that the Pythagorean theorem is applicable if our given is a right triangle. So now, what are the six basic trigonometric ratios? So since this is a new topic to you, you might not be familiar what the six are. But if you get your scientific calculator, you will find there the words S-I-N, C-O-S, and T-A-N. So you have sine, cos, and tan. So we will be encountering them in this lesson. So here are our six basic trigonometric ratios. I am going to introduce the first three ratios, which is the sine ratio, cosine ratio, and the tangent ratio. So first, let me draw a triangle. So this is a right triangle. And let's name it A, B, C. And then the sides are named as small letters. So you have small A, small B, and small C. So sine ratio is defined as the ratio of the side opposite to A over the hypotenuse. So the side opposite to A is our small a. And the hypotenuse is C. So we have sine A is equal to small a over c. For our next one, we have our cosine ratio. So it is the ratio of the side adjacent to a over the hypotenuse. So adjacent means it's the one beside our angle. So you have here cosine a is equal to the nearest side is this one, letter B, B over C. And for the last one, we have our tangent ratio. So it is the ratio of the side opposite to A and the side adjacent to A. So you have tangent A is equal to, so the opposite is A. And the adjacent is B. So you have A over B. For the next ratios, it is just the reciprocal of the three that we have right now. So now we have our cotangent, secant, and cosecant ratio. But first, let me draw again our triangle. So we have triangle big A, B, and C. And for the sides, we have our small a, small b, and small c. So let's define the cotangent ratio. So it is the ratio of the side adjacent to a over the side opposite to a. So the one beside a is b. So cotangent big A is equal to B over 
A. Next one, we have our secant ratio. So it is the ratio of the hypotenuse over the side adjacent to A. So we have here secant. Big A is equal to hypotenuse, which is C, over B, which is the adjacent side. And last one, you have your cosecant ratio. So it is the ratio of the hypotenuse over the side opposite to A. So you have cosecant A is equal to C over A. So now let's compare our trigonometric ratios and see their relationship with one another. So now let's have our example. Let's rename the angle as angle A and the sides as X, Y, and Z. Now let's find the values of the six trigonometric ratios. So we have sine A, cosine A, tangent A, cosecant A, secant A, and cotangent A. So sine A is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse, which is equal to x over z. Next one, cosecant A is equal to the adjacent side or yung katabi over the hypotenuse. So you have A over H is equal to Y over Z. While tangent A is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. So based on our first two examples, the opposite side is X and the adjacent side is Y. Now let's go on to the other side. So we have here cosecant A. So cosecant A is equal to the hypotenuse over the opposite side, which is equal to Z over X. The secant A is equal to the hypotenuse over the adjacent side, which is equal to Z over Y. And lastly, we have our cotangent A, which is equal to the adjacent side over the opposite, which is Y over X. So notice our answers. Sine A is the reciprocal of cosecant A. Cosine A is the reciprocal of secant A. Tangent A is the reciprocal of cotangent A. So these are the six trigonometric ratios of our triangle with respect to our angle A. So let's have another example, but this time we will be having numbers, not variables. So let the angle be angle theta and let the sides be equal to 3 4 and 5. So let's find sine theta, cosine theta, tangent theta, cosecant theta, secant theta, and cotangent theta. So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. 
So the opposite is 4 and the longest side is 5. So that is 4 over 5. Next, the cosine is adjacent side over the hypotenuse, which is, so the side near to the theta is 3, so 3 over 5. And for our tangent, we have our adjacent, I mean we have our opposite side over our adjacent side, which is equal to 4 over 3. Next one, we have our cosecant theta. So cosecant theta is the reciprocal of sine theta. So you have 5 over 4. Secant theta is 5 over 3. And your cotangent theta is 3 over 4. So these are our six trigonometric ratios. So now, as a summary of our lesson, I will be introducing to you our abbreviation. So we have so, ka, toa, cho, sha, kao. So this basically tells us that sine is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, tangent is equal to the opposite over adjacent, cosecant is equal to hypotenuse over opposite, secant is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent, and cotangent is equal to adjacent over opposite. So that ends our lesson for the day, and I hope that you learned something new. If you have any questions, clarifications, do not hesitate to ask them. So that would be all, and I will see you again next time. Thank you very much.